Hi there, this is in review of October the 24th, and I was told to view these as paintings, so of course I do. What is the difference between a monk and a husband? What is the difference between a priest and a layperson? I accept that this world is terrible and full of suffering, but I also enjoy happiness when it comes to me. As long as I am with nature and knowledge, these distinctions are unimportant. The knowledgeable should not feel smug. The knowledgeable should not feel smug. They have no greater chance of enlightenment than ordinary people. An ordinary person should not look down on the holy aspirant. Life is so full of distractions. Life is so full of everyday distractions that finding your true spirit is not easy. Frankly, neither is being a religious person or being a lay person. These are not the deciding factors of whether somebody finds their spirit or not. Identities only really get in the way. We do not need to pretend that we are anybody else and we, and we do not need to feel insecure about um, our own perceptions. The self-cultivation that we undertake is really perfect for who we are. We should not try to become somebody other than who we are. Frankly, neither is being religious nor a lay person is the deciding factor in which a person finds knowledge within nature or not. Identities only get in the way. I pursue spirit because it gives me tremendous satisfaction. I do not pursue it because of the threats of hell, ignorance, or suffering. Life has its sad and its happy moments, and I accept them all. Life also has its times of dispassion and utter serenity. Those are the moments that we seek. Those are the moments that we seek. Give me my path through this Madrid of phenomena of this existence. I do not compare myself to anyone. Let them have their life and I'll enjoy mine. So that is the first part and here is the second, more southern hemisphere. The sun shines in the center of the sky and all things turn their faces towards the light. All things in life depend on direction. All things in life depend on direction. In our world, all is oriented towards the sun. Our planets revolve around it, the season depends on it, and our very concept of night and day is tied to the rising and the falling of the sun. The sun is the dominant element in our lives. In all other actions in our lives, we cannot avoid making arrangements or plans that have a, a center or a, have an orientation. Our lives require composition, just as the solar system has a relationship and a structure. All structure and orientation is basically arbitrary. We can take the sun as a center of our world because of our vantage point. To someone standing in another galaxy, our solar system, our sun, is just a, another point in endless space. There really is no absolute standard by which to call something the center of something. There really is no absolute standard by which to truly call something the center. Therefore, all arrangements and compositions are determinations of a dominant element, and they are all subjective and provisional and relative. There is no center except for that in our own consciousness. We look at the sun and the arrangement of our planet, and we look at the sun and the arrangement of our planets, and we must also include ourselves as the observers. And how else is there determination of what is being seen? Consciousness is the part of the phenomena. Consciousness is a part of the phenomena. We are the center and there is no absolute measure. We are the center and there is no absolute measure.